You know the saying, stay hungry, stay humble. Yes, yes, check out the new set for Winter Bice indeed. All right. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Last night was the fight of Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz. This happened in Saudi Arabia. So straight after the match finished, this is what Anthony said. First of all, I want to thank God. I want to say Bismillah. And then <laughs> next. Some of you guys predicted this upload. To be fair, I wasn't going to do a video on this. But when I got up in the morning, the top trending in the UK was Bismillah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Hell yeah! I wanna say Bismillah. I wanna say Bismillah. Yes! For those of you guys that don't know, Bismillah means in the name of Allah. So anytime a Muslim does an action, they say in the name of Allah before beginning the action. And it is hoped that that action will have more blessing in it. Saying a few Arabic phrases does not make you a Muslim, but it does show number one, tolerance. Yeah? Yes! And number two, it's good because it's normalizing Arabic and Islamic phrases in the mainstream. But of course, there's always negative thinkers out there who are saying they he probably did it to appease the Saudi Muslim crowd, which to be fair is quite likely. That still doesn't take away the fact that it's still appreciated for him to say it on a global stage in front of millions in a climate of growing Islamophobia. Those of you who think that, nah, it's nice, nah, what's that gonna do? The ice queen of the far right begs to differ. I probably still am the biggest bitch in Britain. Here's a tweet from Katie Hopkins laying into Anthony Joshua, most likely because first of all he fought in Saudi and secondly, He's uh, Bismillah. talking about Allah in the ring. You could even see Sunny Bill Williams, the Muslim rugby player from New Zealand, also appreciated it. People are like, oh, why hasn't he read the Shahada yet? Why hasn't he memorized the Quran yet? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You know, if he is making these incremental changes and sincere in his pursuit of God, then God will reveal himself to him. If you watching you are sincere, then God Allah will reveal himself to you if you ask him. I mean, there's one very amazing prayer. If you are genuinely confused, you make this prayer, you say, God, if you're there, guide me. Many people have tried this prayer and it's worked for them. But of course this needs to be said, our Islam should not depend on the actions and words of other people. But like I said, you'll always get negative people. It's just the way their brain is wired and you can change that. Look into neuroplasticity. If you constantly start forming positive, reaffirming, constructive habits, your brain tends to rewire itself. So the negative people in a situation like this, they waste a very good opportunity to engage and teach people about this beautiful religion. Yeah, I'm editing now, but I forgot to mention this point. To some people guys, this is the only positive exposure to the religion that they're gonna get. So why on earth would you want to take that away? And of course, if you're a positive person, when stuff like this happens, you appreciate the love of Islam that exists, but we don't see it in the mainstream. Now, I don't know if some of you guys have seen this clip, yeah? Lats, we're about to end the flight. Anything can happen. What are we saying? Say Bismillah. 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 Fet me. Mandem. Bismillah. It's quite old, but he seems to be around Muslims and he's used that word before. Now I get it, to some people it sounds cheesy to promote such things. But to be fair, the amount of Islamophobia and negative press that we see on a regular basis, seeing a small victory like this, it's appreciated. And if this can give people uh, hope and just raise them for a short while, why not? Why would you want to take that away from them? I mean, considering millions of people were watching this fight, including people who hate Islam and seeing 
Allah's name permeate their homes and their pubs and <laughs> all sorts of locations, how is that not going to make you happy? And it is of course a reminder for us, don't forget to say Bismillah when you are eating, drinking, before entering the toilet, entering your home, you know, start driving. Because if you start anything in the name of Allah, it is hoped that there will be blessing in it. And even if you look at scientists like Dr. Misaro Emoto, even he says that words have an effect on us physically. He actually did an experiment on water. And you've got Bru Dr. Bruce Lipton saying that your environment affects the cells and your body as well. So words and your surroundings do affect you. And I want to end with this guys because straight after I saw him win, it did remind me of when he lost the first time and seeing the people bash him. I took my L and I bounced back. Anyone can do it. Life is a roller coaster. What do you want me to do? Give up. I hear certain man saying, oh, I should retire. I should retire. Come on, man. You know, people doubted him. People said that he might not have the hunger for the sport anymore. And now that he's won, those very people are now in his corner chanting his name. And it did remind me of a very important principle which is strength should come from within you and not from other people. Because other people will leave you when they don't see any benefit coming from you. It's a shame because everyone likes me fighting when I'm winning but hates me when I lost. <laughs> if you depend on their validation, you're gone mate, you're gone. You know if I box for the crowd or box for people's opinion and I might not have been victorious tonight. Hope you guys benefited from this small reminder. Until next time. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Subur, the legend of evolution, is in Pakistan for nine months. Yeah. And he is delivering free lectures on evolution and atheism. And to be fair, I haven't come across anyone, any Muslim, who is as knowledgeable in the field of evolution as Subur is. So guys, I'm going to put his email in the description. Guys, if you are from Pakistan, you are linked to a university, email him.